Okay, mean value theorem. Uh, we're supposed to find a positive value of x that satisfies this mean value, that satisfies the mean value theorem for this particular function. Um, so we need to first remember that the mean value theorem says that uh, for some number between these two, we'll call that number c, there has to be a number. So the derivative of f, which in this case is the cosine, the cosine of c has to be equal to the function value at one end, which is 3 pi over sine of p, 3 pi over 2, minus the function value at the other end, which is negative 3 pi over 2, has to be equal to subtracting the two y's. Basically, it's the slope formula uh, that we've uh, learned in the past. So if we do this, the bottom 3 pi over 2 minus negative 3 pi over 2 winds up giving us just 6 pi pi. Now what happens in the numerator? Um, 3 pi over 2 is a reference angle to, to pi over 2. If you remember, the sine of pi over 2 is um, 1. So we have 1 minus negative 1, because this is between the third and fourth quadrants, where the sine is being negative. So we get 2 over 6 pi, which is 1 over 3 pi. Now, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, my apologies here. Uh, three, this would be 6 pi over 2, which would make the denominator 6. Uh, this would be, uh, let's go back and clean this up a little bit. This would be 6 pi over 2, which is simply 3 pi. So this would be 3 pi here. So we've got to find a number. And that's as far as we can go. So we're looking for a number such that the cosine of c equals 2 over 3 pi. And the only way you could do this at this particular time is to use a calculator. Uh, you will not be required to use a calculator on the exam. So uh, this problem from here on out is irrelevant for the exam. But you do need to be able to set this up and evaluate it out. And if it were something that could be evaluated here, uh, be able to evaluate it. Say if we had a specific function like uh, x squared equals something, then you'd be able to figure out what x is there. So uh, that will conclude this problem for us.